Brent from Rocky Run Angus Ranch. We are in the middle of a blizzard. We already have enough, as much snow as we had pretty much all last winter, I think. Um, I'll show you around a little bit. It is ugly. Got my kids out. They're over by the gates getting ready. It's kind of a hurry up and get it done thing. It's nasty. I know the camera never picks up how bad it is because it can kind of see through some of the crap, but those trees, well, you can barely see them. Up there, you can't. I can't see them. Either. This is trails that we've dug through the farm here to get around snow piles. There's probably two and a half to three feet in the yards here. We got, oh, 14 to 16 inches Tuesday, Wednesday of really wet, heavy snow. Um, and now today, this is, it's a little warmer, it's like 20 degrees yet, so this stuff is a little bit drier, but it's still kind of nasty, so, I don't know, it's, it's not real pleasant out right now. Let's see if we can, I'll try to do this one hand, it's not going to work very good. I usually, I corn over there, not been or it's just corn screenings. I usually give these guys some a couple buckets of corn screenings every night, but they just gonna have to go without it tonight. I drove into work this morning for stayed for about a half an hour, and it got crappy. I mean, the roads were crap. town so I just said heck with it and stayed for about a half an hour picked up some groceries in the store open and turned around and came back home so it's kind of tough I'm just gonna try and push enough snow away here so I lay down some alfalfa for the calves of course it'll fall on me Wheel tracks. Fogging up already. Look at babies. Yeah, this, this is nasty. into the side of the barn without opening the one big slider door and I don't want to do that because then the cows can get out or the calves can get into the side of the cows. I got this side open I got a I got some panels across in there so the cows and the calves are in the same barn but they're split up.
up and we'll dump some range cubes on here for them. gave up the ghost here recently. I'm not sure, it just, well, it was in the middle of a cycle and it quit working, which was real nice because then all my calves got out. And then I had unhooked it to one side because you can just unhook to take the pin out of the gate side and uh, so you can run it manually or just run the gate like you normally would. And, uh, well, my daughter, she decided she was going to push the gate open and pinch the opener and broke the plastic mount off of it, so that one's toast. I got the one bull and my beef steer in a pen together. That's my red bull right here. He's in with the cows yet. I haven't separated him out yet because I don't want him to beat up on my black bull. He's got an injury of some sort to his one knee, so I don't want to hurt him or get him hurt, I guess. Get back out of here. I'll bring you back in a minute. Okay. Anyways, yeah, it's this weather's been wild. Like really wild. They're saying another six to eight inches today, tonight, or something like that, and then or today, and another something like that tonight, and then tomorrow more snow. So I mean, if this is any indicator what the rest of the winter is going to be like, their uh, forecast about a month ago of a cold winter and average precip was wrong because this is already above average. So. I mean, we definitely needed the moisture. 
not complaining about that because this is very moisture rich snow here. <coughs> no, no doubt. But it's just not very conducive to taking care of a dog phone a mouse. That's what we got it for. But anyways, it's been a long enough video just to show you what it looks like around here right now. Not very pretty. I've been home from work since Tuesday morning. I was at work Tuesday for about an hour and a half and I left because it was starting to get crappy. Stayed home yesterday, like I said, went in town for a little bit this morning. Turned around and came back home. There was cars in the ditch and on Highway 52 that goes from Minot to Jamestown. Two, there was a bunch of cars in the ditch, the semis jackknifed and stuff. And on my way in, I don't uh, take Highway 52, but the other highway that I take, there was uh, two cars in the ditch. And it was like an ice skating rink. And the eastbound lane was, um, sorry about that, the eastbound lane was all drifted over. Um, so when I turned around and came back home, I pretty much drove on the wrong side of the road, other than when I met a car or two. So, anyways guys, take care, stay safe, stay warm, and uh, we'll catch you later.